thank you for staying here on Joy News Interactive. Now, freeing up space on your smart device can be very difficult and frustrating sometimes. Trust me, I've tried it a lot of times and I, I couldn't, so I had to hand over to the tech guys. Today, we are getting some tips on how uh, to you know, get off the stress by sharing some tips on how to free up space on your mobile phone or tablet. Kobe in Kuma, also known as Spikey, is here uh, with me to take us through the process. You're welcome. Hi, thank you. It's good Again. to always have people like you around, you know. <laughs> we yeah. can always run to you. So mm. just tell me, sometimes yeah. I realize my phone sends me an alert that I'm running out of space. I try to delete photos, messages, anything, but it still doesn't work. What yes. should I do? It's a worry. I know. I've, I've had that situation myself. Currently, I'm even dealing with, you know, my phone telling me that I'm running out of space. But then, thankfully, I know the tricks. And I'm going to teach you and the audience how to sure. solve it. Great. So, first of all, one of the things, well, everyone has a different type of phone. There's Android phones, there's iPhones, there are Windows phones. Each one has a way of, you know, dealing with space. With Android phones, there's so many ways to doing it. Some of the times, we have problems like people have... Therefore, the, when you use an app, the app stores certain files on your phone called in a cache. The cache is like temporary files that whenever an app wants to run, it fetches these files, like images Please and the rest. Pause. The cache is C-A-C-H-E. Yes. Just in case you're, you're wondering, yeah, that's what it is. So that's sure. what it is. Yeah, so the cache stores temporary files that you could use later on. And then these cache files sometimes hog up your space. So with an Android phone, you can just go to your settings, go to your application. I'm can going you to show, show it to yes, the I'm screen? Yes, I'm going to show it to the camera. Sure. And then you will, so you go to settings, you go to apps, and then you click on the app that you, you, know, you want to check on the space that is occupying. So you okay. go to storage, and then you would see the cache. Currently, this app has zero bytes of cache, so I can't clear anything. But... An app that would usually have a lot of cash would be Facebook. Okay. So we go to Facebook, and then you go to storage, and then you'd see cash. So Facebook's cash has about 35 megabytes of storage taken by the cash. So when we hit clear cash, we have cleared that 35 megabytes from the phone. So now we have 35 megabytes. So you can go through for all your other apps. What this means is that later on when you come, your app may take longer to load, but I mean, it's better than having no, no space, space at, at all. all. Especially for those of you who like to take a lot of photos. Yes. My sisters have, <laughs> have that problem a lot. So you go to settings. You go to settings. You go to the app. You go to apps. You click on it. And then you go to, you'll see the list of apps in there. Exactly. And then you click on the app. Exactly. Especially the ones that take you to social media sites. Exactly. And you click on the cache and yes. then you delete. Then you delete. It won't affect the at apps. All. Sometimes it's actually a way to fix the app. Okay. Some applications end up, you know, getting this, you, you get, have a problem where the app is not working. It's probably because of your cache. You have to clear your cache okay. and then you'll be fine. All right. Another and, and this is for what, Android phones? This is for Android phones. Okay, great. Yes. There's one universal trick for both Android and iPhones, and it is the Google Photos app. So Google Photos gives you a free, unlimited storage of photos, backup. So you can automatically backup all your photos to Google Photos over time. Mm. How this is done, you install the Google Photos app on your phone, and then you will just enable automatic backup. So whenever you're connected to a Wi-Fi, it backs up all your photos to the Google Photos cloud. I know a lot of people do not like hearing about the cloud because of safety issues, but I can tell you, we're guaranteed that Google is safe. We haven't really heard that any photos have been uploaded to Google and then been leaked, mm. unlike some yeah, other, other people. Ones, yeah. <laughs> So you can install Google Photos on your iPhone or your Android phone, and then you enable automatic backup. Whenever you take a picture, it backs up to the cloud. So you can delete the picture later. And it has a feature that lets you delete the photos that have been backed up. Okay. So you go to settings, and then you go down to photos. I'll open it on the phone and show it to you. So when you go to settings and you go to the photos, you'll find that you, go, you can delete the apps the, I mean, sorry, not the apps, the photos. the photos that have been stored over there. Yeah, so you go to settings, you'll see free up space. Okay, free up space yeah. on so Google see, Photos. Yes, on go Google Photos. Go to settings, free up space. So you see free up space. When you go to free up space, you can free up device storage. Right now I have freed up, so it says too soon to free up space. 
Try again in a few minutes. Okay. So when it's done, you just go to free up space and you free up all your space. Okay, and it automatically deletes. It automatically deletes all the photos that it has backed up mm. onto the cloud. And it's unlimited, so it can back up forever. Wow. Yeah. So even if I have an iPhone, I know I already have a Photos app on the iPhone, but I can still download the Google Photos app. Yes. You should download the Google Photos app because the iCloud Photos doesn't allow you to back up as many as, it's Unless not unlimited. You keep buying. Unless you keep buying more space. Okay. That's the problem. Another trick too is most phones when you buy, they come with these nifty gadgets. Okay. They're called USB OTG. Okay. So you plug it into your phone and it allows you to plug in a flash drive. Oh, great. So I've plugged this flash drive into the phone. And now when I go to my storage application, my files, I can find this uh, the flash, drive. flash drive plugged in. So with that done, so as you can see, USB storage mm. is showing here. Okay. So now I can copy whichever file that I want to copy. So I go to options or move, move it to the USB storage and then done. So I Great. moved whichever files that I had on the phone to my flash drive. Okay. And then it frees and then up, I the freed space. up the space. What if my phone didn't come with this particular device that allows... It's a very cheap accessory that you can buy on the market. Okay. And... I mean, these, almost all the phones, well, iPhones don't come with them, unfortunately. But, but I didn't say I have an iPhone. So I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know, you're just trying yeah. to pick me up on that. So, great techniques here uh, from Spikey, as we call him here, on how to free up space on your phone. It's, mm. it's one challenge, especially for a lot of you like taking a lot of selfies, mm -hmm. I know. So, well, there it is. For me, the easiest one I was able to get my mind the around with the Google Photos one. I think that's very simple. But hey, if you're a tech person like Spiky himself, you may want to get yourself, what did you call that again? A USB on the go. USB on the go. Yeah. All right. And you'll, you'll be able to save yourself uh, some space mm. and then don't miss that op opportunity to take that photo you want to take with that celebrity. You know, sometimes people get to the point where they want that photo and says, you don't have you enough don't have space. space. It's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. embarrassing. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank Hopefully, you for uh, me. next week, Wednesday, we'll have another interesting tip for you here yeah. on Joy News Interactive. But we asked some of you how you free up space on your smart devices on Facebook. And some interesting answers, Spikey. Uh, let me just take some of them. Uh, Fiati Emmanuel says, I'll be happy if you can stream live. Okay, we are doing that. We, we have streamed live. I'm sure you, I hope you were able to get the tips uh, that spiky shared miss pamoro says okay he thinks that uh, this goes for people who don't know anything about <laughs> how to free up space but of course everybody's not like you you would agree so yeah richard kwame Kras says oh we are teaching our people how to use them while people are planning to produce phones anyway someone says oh okay so someone actually knew by clearing cash from apps like whatsapp and facebook so that thousands of messages taking up space will be no more and also deleting apps and movies I don't need any anymore. And Dalit and Selassie Kumako says, well, not taking too many pictures after setting up uh, UFO satellites, micro light, toy planes, and etc. Likewise, focusing on nuisance arguments. Okay, he goes on and on and on and on. But thank you so much uh, for the tech updates. We really appreciate uh, what sure. you do for us every Wednesday. And that will be all for this edition of Joy News Interactive and...